You've been gone, it's an empty. So many years. Thank you. 
also inside we have a chart that they can the instructions on how they can use it yeah and on the back we have a um, menstrual cycle how they can mark the administration and the inside this is the wash cloth we have eight wash cloth inside that's in the present cotton flannel as doctor is here doctor has been in a book he knows the flannel what is and all that we can soak a lot of flour so this is how they use it for their um heavy thing they take to put it inside the the shell and then when you when you can look at it, it's it's um it's a double layer at the center and a single layer. So they fold it like this and then insert it inside there. And the shirt have two pockets. So they set it inside the pocket and then they put it under the pants. Yes. Under the pants beautiful like this. Before they put it on, and one thing is that it will never wet their pants or wet their clothes because it has a plastic liner in between the one you are holding. So there is no way to wet their pants. Then they wear. So when they are going out, it has two plastic liner. They hold this plastic liner inside this block bag, okay. and at the same time, taking some of the the, the shawl. The, uh, the washcloth and put it inside. So when they feel that they are wet, they go to a washroom, remove the one that is wet, put it nicely in here. When they go home, they pour water on this one, massage it, pour the blood away by three times, then they remove it and then wash it with soap and water and dry it in the sun. This one does not um, stain with blood. When you wash it, wash very nicely, and then you dry it, dry it in the sun. For so sun have micro chem, uh, uh, UV light. Yeah, yeah that, that can kill them. Okay. So what we think the young girls and the women is that they shouldn't dry their panties inside their rooms because yeah. generate germs. So they should dry it outside the liner so that the, the sun can kill all germs. So this is what this for girls we do. So we teach them, then we teach them about menopause about um, sexual transmitted diseases, self-defense. Because right now, our girls, when they go out and the man wants to take advantage of them, they don't know how to defend themselves. And then the man just take advantage of them. So this for girls, we teach them how to defend themselves. Because every woman in this life has to survive. They grow up and then become somebody in the future. Every girl. So that's what we, we empower women, we empower girls to have self-esteem. So that's what uh, uh, this for girls we do. Very much. Thank you very much. I have never come across this. We, we have today. been here before. We have never been at home before. before. Oh, but never. Just a small. Just a yeah. small. Yeah. And it will even help the school children. Yes. Because some of them go to school when they have it, they don't even know what to use. And they become step. In fact, thank you very much. You are welcome. At this time, health is doing well, bringing all these yes. things into the system. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And you know what's interesting about this for Girls Ghana is yeah. that my brother played. We add Sankofa mm -hmm. to yeah. the program. Okay. Sankofa means, you know, the olden days, what we were, we were using a term. The bread, the, the red one. The red one. The red one. Yes. So Sankofa means go back and take or learn from the past. Why are we learning from the past? Mm. We are learning from the past by using the modernized one. We are using the modernized one. So this for this, we ask Sankofa the importance of learning from our past. Another thing is that we also have to save the environment. environment. Now we don't drop anything yeah. anywhere. Yes. So you wash it yes. and then clean. So yes. our environment is also clean yes. and safe for us. Excuse me to say, even those who are killers, when they throw it out, they suck our people. They will take it. And then I'm happy to do it. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Basically, we do training for women on entrepreneurship, business skills, and some of them who have the need for, we provide them with some micro credit for them to do their businesses. They have clean water. 
where we do boreholes, you go to community where they need boreholes and portable water you provide them. There are medical services also. We do medical care, some emergency medical care. We have staff here who are in charge of that so they can tell you more of the medical care. Then offer support. The part that I can talk more is uh, modern slavery, something they call human trafficking. Basically, a lot of children who are supposed to go to school, they don't go to school. Their parent takes small money, like 200 cities or 1 million, and they are being used for the fashion work. Some of them come and they promise them a job in Kuwait, in Qatar, Saudi Arabia. When they go there, they take their passport and they are being used for prostitution and that kind of work. So those are some of the things we do. We create awareness. We sensitize people about these issues. We let them know that when people come and promise you of job opportunities, it's a, mostly it's a lie. They're going to traffic and exploit you. We have stickers that we give out, something like this. Let human trafficking end in Ghana. Different different stickers. We have our, our telephone number there. So in case somebody finds a child, an adult who is being used for fishing work, domestic servitude, or even forced labor, we also do things of domestic servitude. Uh, Things like forced labor, people who are not less than 18 years and they are being forced to marry beyond their will. It's, it's against the law, it's, it's, it's a crime. And so we have telephone numbers that they can always call us and then we're able to help to address the issue. So basically that is the overview, but we have a team of staff who also work on the literacy and they also work on the health. So in case you need them more to know about the health, I think they can also... In fact, I don't deceive you, you see some small, small girls they married. They, they give them to married men who are maybe 40, 40 years, years and above, above 60 years. And you see them giving 12 years old girl, 13 years old girl. In fact, it pays me that two years ago this system was not around. Like I have given you about 10 people in this town. But all the same, I'm around, and I will make sure that I will be more than the CID <laughs> to bring you more people so that we deal with them so that the children can continue their education and then become somebody in future. If not because of Dr. Jugbate today, we would have brought you people here. Thank you. Yeah, so through him, because the parents sent him to school and he also obeyed them and then took the, the studies seriously. That is why today he's here. Some children are in the house now sick because they were not having that beginning. The parents could not send them to school. It wasn't their fault because they don't have anything doing. So I'm happy I've met a group like this today. And today it's like a, a I don't know. I would say God has given me something today to come, being a mother of poetry. And so I thank you people very well for coming. And I'll make sure that I will use I'll keep distance to guide me, to trace you people. Yes, and this is my